and welcome back to Bleach Modded Survival. And I'm here with the cows because I wanted to show everyone something if I quickly come back. Last time, right before it ended and stuff, Ryan stole my mask. I'm pretty sure that was last time. Ryan basically stole my mask and you know, killed me. So he could get the mask for power boost. While I was doing that, I was like standing here and I was right clicking with my sword for like you know, just to sh like as you do when you're leaving, but because it was charged up in its powered up mode, it was actually getting ready to launch one of those gets you a tensile things, <laughs> the big beams. And because I had the mask on at the same time, it went overcharge and it it caused this destruction here. <laughs> I somehow blew up part of the bridge while standing away over here, but managed to completely not touch all of this land. It just destroyed like all of this bit and this bit. I have no fucking clue how it managed it, it just did. Now I'm gonna power this down before I waste all my power. And it also destroyed the back bit of the wall I was standing next to, so it was freaking amazing. Uh, but now this is bit's broken and pff, I need to repair it, but I'll do that later. Can't be bothered now. For the now though, I've got a better idea because I actually installed different mods into the game. Oh yeah, I was using Getsu a tensile here in the water just to try out. That was two waves I sent. And it created that little fish of water which I found quite funny. And I tried digging over there. I just see Oh, I'll time to go play. Actually, because I can see, I think that's two golems there. So, let's release our blade. Let's get our mask on. Let's do this. Alright. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, this thing's overkill. Oh god, oh god. Skeleton, leave my other one. This thing, it does like 20 odd damage per hit. And destroys giant chunks of landscape when it's using its beam attack. I mean, in this form, the beam it gets pretty powerful. I bet you. Full power and. <laughs> Meh. Not that impressive, but. <laughs> it does do a fair bit of destruction. And, it, you know, it was doing 20, 20 damage per hit there, so that was, you know, pretty impressive in itself. You know, now that I've wasted, like, all of my spirit energy on killing a couple of little guys. I might as well say the mods I actually added into the game. As I replace a couple of bits of dark that I just broke there and haven't got nearly enough for. Oh well. Anyway, mods that I added in. I added in the um, enchanting plus for start so I can improve the enchant table so you can pick whatever mod it is you want. Try a bookshelf here. Um, other mods added in. Oh, what was the other one called? Oh god. What was it? Oh yeah, the ladders mod. I then cool ladders to the game, which meh. No one's really going to care about that. That was just something I could use as a design if we ever decide to build a cooler base. And the final one I added in was the Twilight Forest mod. Giving me a new challenge to use my sword and stuff on. Sure. If I can go and grab a diamond. We could go make ourselves a little portal to the twilight. There. Some flowers. Some trees. Flowers. Perfect. And if I make another bucket, which... We don't have a lot of iron, so I feel a little trip to the twilight might actually... You know, might get us some goods. Might get us some... You know, useful items that we could possibly use. So, like a trip to the twilight, definitely worthwhile. Get away! There's nowhere near you. Boom! Portal to the twilight made. Right, let's dump our shit and we'll have a little dive in and see what the situation is. Over. Spirit's not at full, but who cares? Go! Lag, 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 lag. Okay, I knew it was going to do this because it's loaded up a whole new dimension, but it'll be fine. And we're in the twilight. Oh, it's rather beautiful. Oh, right, nice to Naga. Straight away. That should be interesting. Okay. All right, I, don't, I generally don't think I could take a Naga on by myself, but I feel as though since I'm here, I've got to try. I did not bring a pickaxe because that was clever of me. I need to get a wooden pickaxe now. Oh, hello. Didn't stand a chance. Um, fork. Oh, I'm here. Oh, the fork. Looks like I'm going to have to make a wooden freaking pickaxe. Alright, there's a lot of cool materials in the twilight I can use, so... I should be able to make quite a cool pickaxe out here if I can, get, if I can find some more materials. Burp. Now we'll take that, and then we'll... I can't believe I'm, I'm having to make a wooden pickaxe. Oh, because I forgot he brings a pickaxe with me. 
It's not like I don't have a diamond one at home. Okay. Wait, what? Oh yeah, Shimigami's gonna show up. It's like, is that, there's a boss Shimigami through here? What? Ah, there he is. Okay. Right. Peg, don't judge me. I'm scared. I don't know how this is gonna turn out. Ah, uh, he's in there. Okay, maybe I can take a few pot shots at him with the bow. Um. Come on, hit him! Hit him! Right, now I'm gonna have to get a bit closer. Sit. Still. Got him! I did a lot of damage just in one hit. <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be really good as a Quincy right now, you know that. Wanna fight with me? Come here. Ah. Come here! I did not do much damage. Hey! Yeah, now you're in trouble. Gotcha. Oh, Naga, that was too easy. Too easy. Too easy, you Naga fool. Oh, I don't think there's any good treasure here other than the skills themselves. Yeah, I don't think there's much good out of that. I got some yellow willow to it. Now, Naga trophy. Yay. Naga trophy. That is a hollow hell. I'm going in there next. Time to begin the process all over again of getting materials. Just because Hollow Hills have got a lot of cool treasure in them though, so it's worth the trip. Even though normally I don't like mining in reg regular caves very much because it's quite boring after a while. But these caves are different. Ah no, there's, there's some nice things in here. I'm not going to lie, there's, you can get a lot of cool treasure and stuff, so it's worth having a little peek inside. Hello. You make great light sources. Hello. No. No, 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 you're not, you're not even getting a chance, dude. Uh, let's get some more iron while I'm here. Get some iron pickaxes on the go. Oh. So what, iron's a resource that I'm, got, it's very scarce in the overworld right now. Just because me and Ryan don't get very much of it. Because we refuse to go mining. Ah, here we go. Here's something. Ah, ah, troll! I've never seen one of them before. Oh, so it was a white thing of death coming toward me. The shit, when, when the hell did those things get put in the game? That was scary shit there. Holy fuck. Anyway, here's some iron wood. Which is quite handy because it actually gives... I think it puts fortune or efficiency or something straight onto the pick when you make it. I don't know, it's just a, it's useful. Combine it with iron and stuff. Build it up. I can't believe there's a fucking troll. That scared the shit out of me there. Troll! Another troll! You got nothing. Saw you coming this time. Oh shit, I left all my arrows. Drop an arrow. Check. Arctic fur, okay. A great torch, dude. Ow! Stop spawning! Jerks. Right, I may just have to dig down because I know the hollow hills go in a really low area. But then, this is why I need Ryan to be here as well. I need someone else to join me here. Jesus. Because my god, it's doing all this stuff on your own. It's good to have someone watching your back. And your spirit energy is low. I'll tell you there's going to be a troll creeping up behind you. Fucking white furball of death. Or bedrock. Okay, I think it's time to abandon ship and just go look for somewhere else to look. If I find another cave place, I will go and search that. But until then, I am leaving. Because I am wasting my time digging in the dark here. There's a hollow hole that there definitely is one. There's no mistaking that as a hollow hole. It's got a rounded shape and everything. Ugh. I wasn't scared. Jumping over ravines is easy. Totally didn't fear for my life there. I kind of wonder if I even take fall damage anymore, because I could jump from a lot higher of a place and it doesn't do very much. Okay, now there's definitely a hollow hill in here, so I'm definitely getting this one. Dig for the center. Goes this way, and a little bit to the left. I should definitely find something this time. That didn't take long. Found it! Literally, yeah. 
Okay, right. Now, I don't like being in these places because. Whoa! You want to fight? Bring it! Come on, bring it! Yeah, I thought so. Brick. Power down now. Burn. Do you? Do you want to burn, little fool? I'll make you burn. Anyway. Uh, let's dump the junk. Or not really junk, but... So I'll just make this chest over here. I had no chance. Why even try? Anyway, I'll make this chest right next to the door. The chest can just store stuff in there now. Just to uh, have a look around. Yeah, let's take that out. I can actually get that one to go and start cooking stuff. Um, as it is. All but one piece. Put all the coal in here. Coal is in there. Um, yeah. That. Burm. Well, that's not very fucking helpful, is it? Let's try that again. There we go. And dump all that stuff in there. Okay, now for the fun part. The part where I wreck this place. And go through every all the spawners and fight all the weird nasty shit. I suppose I should just stay to the outside now. Blow yourself up, go for it. You have a nice pickaxe, I quite like that. What was that noise? Is that where like one of the guys lets off TNT and I just like walk away from it and not care? Hello, Jonathan. Okay, I don't want to get too close to the middle yet. I know, I know stuff's gonna spawn in there. Oh, I got him. Got your toe. That was easy. Let's continue on round. I'm just going in a big circle round here now. Go around the big circle and clear out the outside of it first and then work my way in. That's a lot of creepers. Hello. <coughs> Oh, hello. Ah. Dead. Jerk. Why did they run around so much? Dead, dead, dead. And they're all dead. Mega skill, iron torches. And them. Could happily accept some of them. More torches, ironwood buckets, ladders I don't really need. Let's be honest here, I don't need ladders. I can get plenty of wood. I hear a zombie coming for me, where is he? Ah, oh, don't keep me waiting, dude. Show yourself. So I may smite you down. Take that. Thank you. There's so much good shit in here. I just see this place is just plastered with iron. It's going to take me forever to cool this place out. Look, I'm not going to make everyone sit and watch me do that. Although, I'll, hopefully I will find some diamonds and stuff in here too. And I think the other thing I was looking for was an uncrafting table. That was not a pretty cool thing. I knew luck around in here. That may be quite handy. Let's make my way into the middle a little bit more. First. Oh, not so much of a setup shooter, are you? 
Hello, I'm back to dusk. Oh, you little clowns with eyes. Jerk. Where is he with his little sinister laugh, little freak? Where are you? I feel like yeah. Peacock fan. Yeah. Peacock fan. Where are you? There you are. Go in the lava, you little freak. Even need to care. Oh, a charm of life. That's quite handy. Memory serves. They can actually help you avoid death. <gasps> that little dick. Oh fuck! All right. Well, now I need to run and get my stuff. Um. What? Well, I really don't need this right now. I really just need you to load up when required. Can't believe how quickly my health just got took away there. Like, without the, my spirit energy, my health just depletes like hell. I guess it's because of the lack of armor. I've got five minutes to get back there. That should be no problem. Although I'm not regaining any spirit energy now. Uh, I need my outfit back on. And time to abandon ship from there. Um, I went up here. Crap, now I need to find the way I get in. That's it there. Nope. Come on, where is it? I picked... Oh god, it's a slime beetle. No! You're not what I need right now. Come on, where is it? I can just find a freaking entrance and get in. <laughs> Come on! I jumped across over there. And I dug in. From the side. Running out of food as well. Crap! Oh no! There it is. See it. Ah. That's the last little bit of energy I've got left. Run round. Run, 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 run. Ow, ow, no, no, now, now, now. <laughs> no. Oh, great. Jerk! Run away. I can't actually run, but anyway. <laughs> Just walk through the fire, you badass. I'm start with getting my spirit energy now. I need, I, need, I need blocks. I need blocks. I need blocks. I need blocks. I need to bury myself then. <sighs> Jerks. Jerks, a lot of them. Alright, I think I'm pretty much out of the out of the fire there. <laughs> now that I'm kind of trapped in here, I've got time to get myself together. I can't believe I died. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that I would have died there? Anyway, dudes, I'm going to leave you all here while I'm trapped in this little hole. Hope you have all enjoyed my little adventure in Twilight. If you want to leave a comment on what you think I should do in the Twilight or any other mods you think I should try and add in, if it may, it, give me, any mods that may add an extra cool boss or maybe some cool kind of adventure, I'm up for that. Anyway, hopefully if you've enjoyed the show, you'll leave a like and you'll see us all next time for the next episode of Bleach Party Survival. So see you dudes later. Goodbye, everybody.